What's going on, guys? My name is Josh Stillman. I'm here with French Montana. French, thank you so much for coming through, man. Um, thank you for having me, man. I was talking to a lot of my coworkers, my friends, leading mm -hmm. up to the event, and we were talking about you know the craziest party stories mm -hmm. that we've had. So I'm curious, like, what is the craziest party story that you have? Man, I got this real funny one that you know it sticks out of every story I ever had, like my whole career. Mm -hmm. When we first was coming up, like first start getting the first couple shows. And we just performing, I had a bottle of Syrah. And you know, sometimes when you're having fun, you just like, you know, the girls want to drink, take a shot. You mm -hmm. know, you, you pull a little drink in their mouth, no disrespect, you know? Yeah, for sure. Nobody got, got cups in their hands. So, you know, I'm just pouring it and it's splashing everywhere. And this big dude just come out of nowhere and just push out the way. Mm -hmm. We thought it was her husband or boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Then the next thing you know, the guy just opened his mouth and stick his tongue out. Okay. Guess what I did? What? It's a rock and it's splashing everywhere and she's just standing there looking at him like this. You grew up. <laughs> you know, so that's like one of the, one of my favorite stories ever. It's good to show you, you know, guys and girls want to have fun. For sure, of course. I mean, you're known, I think, primarily as uh, somebody who's music, but you also have some movies, right? You've been yes. after party. Yes. Coming out, or in the works. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I just um, executive produced this new movie, Respect the Shooter. So, you know, hopefully it dropped this year. We just, you know, wait until everything come together. Okay. Can you tell us any more about the, the project? Like, who's gonna yeah, be yeah, in it? Yeah, definitely, man. Yeah. Um, we got Michael K. Williams. He's like one of my favorite actors. Okay. Got Chris Brown in it, got Fabulous in it, got Chinks in it, got Snoop in it, got, you know, a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Okay. So where, I mean, if you don't mind me asking, like, where does one acquire a monkey and tiger? Like, I'm, I'm guessing you didn't go to PetSmart for that. No, I mean, it was like, you know, hangover the movie. Yeah. But it was in real life. Like, I really just woke up and went to the jet, and there was a monkey there. After somebody, somebody promised me a monkey for my birthday, then I was like, you know, you know, I still want that monkey, right? Yeah, yeah. Then, you know, I woke up um, after a long night in Vegas, and it was just a monkey in the jet. And it was just like, like, hangover was like real life hangover. Like part, yeah. Part 28. <laughs> 28, okay. So, I, I, like, I feel like you would be someone who would be really good to play like two truths and a lie with. You wanna play? Let's do it. Yeah? You, you say the first three about you. Oh, you wanna go first? Okay, yeah, okay. Right. Let's see, I went to four different high schools. Okay. Second, I once lived in New Zealand. Mm. And the third, I used to own tree frogs. You used to own tree frogs. That's a lie? That's a lie. Nah. Uh, I, I did have tree frogs. My the lie was uh, New, Zealand. New Zealand. I lived in Australia though. <clears throat> you did? Yeah, yeah. I just came back from Sydney. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's, that's why I learned how to surf at. All right. So what what is your your three? I didn't speak no English until okay. I was 15 years old. I just bought Selena Gomez's house. I got a monkey named Julius Caesar. I know the second one's true. Third one's true. I'm gonna go with the first one. They're all true. Uh, <laughs> I had a feeling they were all true. <laughs> I just but I, <laughs> I know that you are a big fan of mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, where can I get the best mac and cheese? You can go to um, Sylvia's in Harlem. I mean, the best places are soul food places. Okay. And, and, and you know, you gotta, put, you, you gotta put real love to mac and cheese. You also come off as like a guy who seems like very like smooth when it comes, like with dating. Would you say that? You're good with like, when it comes to girls? I think so. Yeah? I was wondering if you could give me some, some advice. I mean, what are you looking for first? All right, let's say there's a girl that I really like, uh -huh. but she doesn't know. Okay. What's, what's the best way to go about letting her know? Just to let her know. Just, just be straight up? Yeah, let her know. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll tweet you, I'll let you know how it goes. No right. rush into nothing, huh? No? It's All hard right. to get out. <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough, yeah. And then if it doesn't work out, I'm gonna take you to the strip club with me, and it's gonna work out that night. Okay. So whatever you like. <laughs> I'm gonna hold you to that. Yes. Okay. Well, French, thank you so much for coming through. Well, thank you for having me. I really me, appreciate man. it, man. Thank you for having me. All right, guys, I'm Josh Stillman. This is French Montana. Thanks hey. for watching.